Little Weston. Douglas arrived back in time to see Flying Scotsman take his enthusiasts home. The fat controller said they all been honoured and thanked Flying Scotsman and his owner for their help. Please tell everyone, he went on, that whatever happens elsewhere, steam will still be at work here. We shall be glad to welcome all who want to see and travel behind real engines. This announcement was greeted with cheers, and Flying Scotsman departed to the strains of Will you know come back again? led, as one might expect, by Donald and Douglas. At last, Douglas could tell his news. They were all excited about it, and agreed that something must be done for Oliver. I'm feared, said Donald, some murdering diesel may creep in, and in there alone lacking steam even to whistle for help. You're right, said James. You won't be safe till the fat controller knows. Douglas should tell him at once, said Gordon firmly. Is it me speak to the fat controller? It's forward, you think me, and maybe interfering. Well, here he is, said a cheerful voice. Now, what's this all about? Duck broke the awkward silence. Beg pardon, sir, but we do need another engine. I agree, Duck. That is why I'm giving 7101 another chance. Their faces showed such dismay that the fat controller had difficulty with his own. Sir, ventured Gordon at last, we had hoped for a real engine. They, said the fat controller gravely, are rare, and unless one escapes, there's little hope. But sir, burst out Donald, one has, and thanks to Douglas, is now at our works, announced the fat controller. Sir, gasped Douglas, is there anything you don't know? More than you think, he laughed. Oliver's crew told me all you did, Douglas. Ah, oh, sir, you can see a brawy engine, and him in trouble, and no do a wheel stern. More than a wheel stern, I fancy. Douglas, I'm pleased with you. Oliver, Isabel, and Toad will soon be ours. Oliver and Isabel are just what we need for Duck's branch line. Loud cheers greeted this announcement. And Toad wants to be your brake van, Douglas. Thank you, sir. I'd hope for that. You and I'll do brawly together. That, of course, made everything right. Henry spoke a good word for 7101, and the others gave him a welcome. He had good manners for a start, so Henry didn't find it hard to teach him our ways. 7101 finds them different from those on the other railway, but much more interesting. He is now quite a useful engine. They teased him at first because of his growls. They said he was like a bear. He still growls, not because he's cross, but because he can't help it. His name, Bear, had stuck. He likes it. It's nicer than just a number, he says. Having a name means that you really belong. The fat controller soon had Oliver, Isabel and Toad mended and painted in full Great Western colours. Then he rescued three more Western Auto coaches. Two, Alice and Mirabel, he gave to Duck. The third, Dulcie, joined Oliver and Isabel. Duck and Oliver are happy on their branch line. It runs along the coast of the small railway. We reopen branches, they boast. They are very proud of this indeed. The others laughed at first and called their branch the Little Western. Duck and Oliver were delighted. And now no one ever thinks of calling it anything else. <laughs>